Guten Morgen miteinander. Heute ist Montag, der 14. Februar. Und, ähm. Oh, da ist, da geht es schnell auf Schweizerdeutsch. Ähm, und ich muss nachher zum Zahnarzt. Ich war letzte Woche schon, gewesen, weil ich musste einen Zahn ziehen lassen. Der ist schon seit sechs Jahren nicht mehr so gut da gestanden. Und jetzt ist er noch ganz kaputt gegangen. Und, ähm, heute gehen wir gut Pferde ziehen. Oder heute gehen wir gut Pferde ziehen. Und, ähm, ja, es ist noch ein bisschen geschwollen, aber, aber es wird so langsam. Und ich denke, ich mache es heute einfach mal auf Schweizerdeutsch. Und du es vielleicht übersetzen, vielleicht auch nicht. <lacht> so, guten Morgen miteinander. So, I'm back from the dentist and I have some stuff to process because it was a bit annoying. But it was good, uh, he, he took the, the strings out, the stitches out, which was easy. It was a different dentist and uh, it just, uh, yeah, there was some critique there and I'm not so good with that. And then I'm also not quiet, but I say something um, back to him and then, yeah, it was <laughs> not the best. So I, I still have to process stuff. But um, the fun thing was I met my mum outside. She saw me when she was passing by with the bus. And she got out the bus, uh, stopped sooner. And then we talked quickly. And she had to go to the doctor, to her doctor. And then she wasn't sure what we were going to do afterwards. And she decided to come to the dentist and wait for me in the waiting room. So that was very nice when I got out there. And when I get critiqued, I start crying. So that's very hard. So I have to fight those tears back and um, it does not get better. And uh, I'm not looking forward to the next time. I don't, I hope it's not uh, with that guy. It will be with the lady who took the tooth out, which was horrible too, took a whole hour. And I am scared of the dentist. That's why I wasn't there for 10 years, uh, only if necessary. And now it was necessary. And it, it's not helpful to get then, uh, that kind of critique. Um, but that was good with, with my mom. Uh, my dad is sick again. He has a cold. Um, but uh, I went, oh yeah, we went to them, to my parents' house and I did film some stuff again and I will do a voice over and show that to you after this clip. So this is on the bus there. Uh, you've seen that bridge from the train and here we are a bit closer. And it's, it's not, those aren't that the nicest pictures, but I wanted to point out something. Here we stop for a um, bus stop and then you have to um, notice how long it takes to the next stop. I was surprised myself how long that took. So here we go again. And the big bridge is the auto, auto, the, the auto bar, the highway thingy. Ah, and we just passed the skater park there on the left was the skater park. And now we're slowing down for the next stop. <laughs> so we have a very good public transportation. That was about 50 or 100 meters. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's a bit close, but when you don't have a lot of time or something, I guess you are glad that there's a stop there. And to the next one takes quite a while. The, so here we are still in Schaffhausen. And there you see the Rhine through the houses. Um, and the next stop will be in Neuhausen. Um, this is some kind of industrial stuff. You have some shops down here. It's not central in town. Uh, accessible, well accessible with, with a car. And this is all new. All that stuff up there on the right. Um, it's hard to see. There is a residence from former richer people or something. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not good with that stuff. This is all new. That's the second time I, I uh, drove that um, through here. And on the other side, uh, there with the trottoir, where the people walk. Um, that's where I used to bike to somewhere to go um, to go bathing in the Rhine. On the other side there, you see Zurich. It's another canton. It's uh, over the Rhine. Here, my dad used to do something with the, with the lifts. He's an electrician or was one. 
and there that house you see straight ahead uh, that's where we got our croissants when we were younger or until he retired the guy who there 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 <laughs> who made the croissants and we also got the the burnt ones and stuff this is now later i went into dinner and this is uh, the church which used to be where i grew up and then our pastor moved to the u.s because she was from the u.s nancy Krira. and then the church moved down here into downtown so that's where they still are uh, but we are not members there anymore and no, this is all new the it's a supermarket on the right hand side again it's hard to to talk about things i want to talk more about certain things and the picture just moves forward and um, now coming up that huge house um, where that is now the the house of my grandparents stood um, which they sold when they wanted to build that thingy and down there down that street which i only filmed very shortly because of those guys standing there there was also a hinter house, um, a small back house, something. And this is now after I met my mom. This is my mom there in black with a mask. Um, soon about to jaywalk and me too, shortly after that. Normally we pay attention not to do that, but if there's no um, crossing thingy, we call it zebra stripes in, in uh, 50 meters, then you can cross the street wherever you want to. I learned that in uh, primary school because we had to take a bike test there and you know that there. And here's, here's some kind of shop just before I go to the dentist. And uh, there's my mom going to the doctor. And there's the bakery uh, where I got croissants the last time I went there. And this is where I grew up uh, in that upper window there. Um, and yeah, that's the house. Uh, I cannot stop it now. And there's the church. Uh, see, you see it a bit closer, that's where the church used to be. And um, this is where we lived. And it was very short to go there, very close. And this is the new, tr new, bu new bus. It has kind of wooden seats, which is fascinating. It's all electro. And another view down to Schaffhausen. I'm going back the scenery route up Upper Neuhausen. I went into uh, down there. It's all very close, <laughs> very accessible to us. Um, and here are just some houses where my school friends lived. And um, there will be a flat house, which is kind of American, because the ones who lived there were also a bit at the flair of the Americans or something. There I saw a USB charger thingy. Fascinating. I'm not out that much, so I see stuff. There's the house. I slept in there two nights. So I was over there for sleepover. And all that. Um, I drove my bike when I went to school. Um, I didn't leave out a lot of the street. Um, but instead of following the main street, I would take that side street there to the right. It's a shortcut. And now the bus drives a whole other round. And then it goes down here and here. I would come up with my bike and then drive down that road which is quite uh, steep and quite curvy and I managed to only fall once because my pedal went onto oh, the yeah. pathway, what's, what's it called? The walkway, the, the sideway, sidewalk, side, let's go, <laughs> sidewalk and I only fell once and ripped my pants which was um, very pity. Uh, but I fixed it with a dish towel. I just uh, sewed in a um, dry of reed. And then they all thought, because it was black pants, they all thought I was um, making awareness for AIDS thingies. But I just had a ready dish towel and I used that to fix my pants. And this is still downhill. And just remember that I will have to drive that back uphill when I go back home from school, which at the beginning I used to do twice. I think it's college or something, just after high school. And uh, as I got older, I had four years of the college thingy and I think the last two years I did not go home over lunchtime, but stayed at school. Yeah, and now we are entering 
Schaffhausen. And the other one went down there where you see that bus just going right. So this is um, how you go to Neuhausen and come back if you want to go that route. So today is Wednesday the... no, it's not true. <laughs> Tuesday the 15th uh, and it is 10 at night and always when I lie down I have an idea what I want to say on a vlog um, because uh, I tried to finish it, it's from yesterday, you've seen that part already. And there's some stuff I said I would translate. For Helen, a dog, is a ein Hund, uh, that's German actually, but in Swiss German it's ein Hund. So if you want to say I have a dog, you can say ich han ein Hund, ich han ein Hund. And um, as you have a very small dog, um, you could add a li at the end of the Hund that, that makes a smaller word out of a bigger one. Like this is a Tisch. If it were small, I would call it Tischli. So, you could say, Ich han es Hundli. Um, and the, we have articles and, and, and it's, and then the things have genders and um, I cannot explain, explain all of that. Didn't I have more? <laughs> I thought there was more. Um, precious is ein Hund. So if she is a dog, Precious is a dog. Was there something somebody else wanted to know? I think Helen, I already tried to translate, no, Tina, I already tried to translate that stuff for real uh, in the commentaries. I didn't prepare, I, I was uh, taking a nap today and then I had three sentences I wanted to say for, for Helen and I think they were already there, um, yeah. So, so it's evening, which is called Orbic, which is also a great um, um, sound, I guess, hard to make, like the E, U and U. Um, I am baking cookies. Ich bin am Gutzli backen. A cookie is, is, is a Gutzli. And is, English, is actually is in German. And uh, some, uh, it's with German. German is a bit different. There it is, ist. <laughs> and I, I find it funny that she is, in English, is sie ish, in German, Swiss German. So it's just a sh and a s is um, mixed up. Well, I, I can get very mixed up with those languages. So, I don't know. <laughs> so I went through my messages again. And I found uh, what Tina asked me to say. And I cannot say that the way she would say that with girl. <laughs> there was a lot of exercise going up and down those stairs doing laundry. And I wrote back there, <clears throat> but I thought like that you would have the pronunciation. Puh, da hast aber es rechts Training kam mit all deine Stege beim Wäsche. It's very hard to translate sentences because you cannot do it word by word and we would say differently. And also that girl thingy, which I cannot say the way you say that, is a very, very American thing and um, I don't know how to translate that. <laughs> also, danke vielmals fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal.